is going on double hd family happy monday hope you all had an amazing weekend it was an amazing race at bristol wow 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 really sucks that maddie d couldn't pull that out but you know he's gonna get his win he'll get his due here pretty soon but this weekend i, I didn't think i was gonna do this this weekend but you know it's monday i went hunting for little 187s i bought the whole damn box of these little 187 mystery packs i also went to walmart and got a couple of the two packs so today is 187 diecast unboxing day i don't know if i'll do it in my usual spot just because these things are way little and uh there's 22 in the blind bag plus the one i already opened i was curious I opened one. Look how cute they are. They're so cute and tiny. Look. They're so tiny. They're so tiny. Look at them. But damn, they're cool looking. So yeah, we're going to open the rest of these. Also, they come with little stickers. So yeah, we're going to open the rest of these. Showcase them. Reveal them. Uh, yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to do it out here or in the kitchen. Because the kitchen, we have a big counter in there. And I can just kind of have my tripod set up and just set it all out there. But we'll see. So... Let's dive into them, shall we? All right, guys. So basically, here's our overview. We got five of the two packs. They want to stop falling everywhere. We got the dual Jimmy Johnsons, the two Penske cars, two more Penske cars, basically, two RCR cars, and two Joe Gibbs cars. We'll get to those here in a minute. Probably open these first since you guys can see them. Just a quick overview of the 88. It's about as big as my pink is. Yeah. These things are just so cute. Look at them. I mean, they're even really designed nicely too. Come on, focus. There you go. Yeah. I actually dig the black windows. All right, anywho. Let's get to these guys. I did this for you guys. There's 22 of those there. But first, the little guys. The other little guys. Of course, the only Walmart that had these was like our ghetto Walmart, so that was nice to go to. Come on. MTJ. KB. Alright. Alright. Now you can also get this Kyle Bush one in the mystery packs, so we're probably going to have a few of him. This is his Interstate Batteries Zebra print car. Man, these things are just, and they have some weight to them too, so that's really nice. Of course, you got the badass Toyota front end. Of course, you can see like, with these little guys, you can see like, the paint's crinkled just a little bit. That's from packaging. But it's just a blemish, it's not too bad. Then you have MTJs. Auto owners, Toyota Camry. Again, you got like another blemish here where they wrap them. Not one of my favorite paint schemes of his, but it's it's all right. Got the Bass Pro logo on the fender there. All right, next up, got the RCR cars. Come on, you. Now these ones. Hello. All right, guys. In this next pick, we have the two gold RCR cars for the 50th anniversary of Richard Childress Racing. There you go. You got the three. I mean, you can, they even went into detail to flare the fenders out, so just making it flat-sided. That's nice. Also, on both of these cars, they have 
the roof flap that opens for the drivers to get out. That's pretty cool. I mean, I love the sparkly paint. That's real nice. And of course, basically it's the same dang car, just with different sponsors on the hood. I mean, you even got the roof flap there, too. Of course, you got the name above the door, which it's going to be real hard to... Yeah, we're not going to be able to pick that up, but... Not bad, not bad. All right, next up. Uh-oh. Come on, go away. Quit it. There we go, we got the two. We got Ryan Blaney and Pominard. Uh-oh. There we go. Yeah, that up. No. There we go. Garbage. All right. Here's Paul Menard's motorcraft car. This is a basic, basic looking car, but dang, it's good looking. Got a Ford there on the front. Yeah, nice looking. Of course, you got Ryan Blaney's PPG car. Which is a fan favorite. Of course, you got another blemish, right? Got two blemishes right back here. Blemishes right there. It's just from the wrapping and packaging. With these little cars, the wrap, they just put them on. But it will happen. Alright, next up. Two more pesky cars. Now you can find both of these in the blind bags as well. I will show you which ones you cannot find in the blind bags and which ones you can. <laughs> My girlfriend told me yesterday that I'm probably going to be lucky if they're not all the same car in the blind bags. Here we go. Joy the Gano shell. Pennzoil Ford Mustang. So far, I'm not seeing any blemishes on this one. So that's a plus. It's a good looking car. Love that paint scheme. And we got Brad Keselowski's discount tire. Of course, as you can see, it does not have the Miller Lite light emblem down there because these are for ages three and up, and they probably don't want beer sponsors on these. Which, for collectors like us, we kind of want that, but beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, it's a good looking car. And then lastly, we got the dual Jimmy Johnson cars. There we go. Now this one, the Ally, Car. This one you can find in the blind bags. This one, however, you cannot. The retro scheme. Right, first up, we'll look at the Ally car. This looks real good with the black windows with the black paint. Purple really pops on it. Yeah. And of course, you have the retro Lowe's car, which blemish right there. Top is really nice. Then I I don't know if those are blemishes or if those oh no that's part of, those are decals. Interesting. Never noticed that before. And of course you got the little Snapchat logo. I don't know if uh, your Snapchat cameras can pick that up or not, but I'm pretty sure it's just Jimmy Johnson's personal Snapchat. Yeah. 
These bumpers look like the bumpers they run on super speedways. It's pretty neat. All right. Now have a look at the blind bags. As I was saying, you can find Ryan Blaney's PPG car in the blind bags. You can find Austin Dillon's gold number three in the blind bags. You can find Brad Kozlowski's number two. You can find, of course, Jimmy Johnson's ally. You can find the Cobblers zebra car. Ooh. The Joey Logano Mustang. As well as Martin Truex Jr.'s uh, auto owner's car. These th this one that came from the two pack is not in the blind bags. As well as Paul Menard's car and Daniel Hemrick's number eight. These are not in the blind bags, so you will not find them in there. But now, after you guys so patiently waited, let's dive into the blind bag, shall we? Get these little guys all organized over here in this little line. Now, as I was saying, you get the car and the sticker in the blind bags. So, get a drink first. Drink your monster, kids. Oh, yeah. All right. First up, we'll look over the packaging. It's got the basic blind bag, mystery die cast carton sticker inside. Shows you what you can get 187 scale. Got the hologram on the back collect them all which uh there's 22 bags there there's 23 all together before i open that one so uh yeah fun stuff these are not easy to tear open so we will need scissors just be careful that there is a sticker in there and you do not want to cut the sticker did i cut it far enough i did all right guys here we go first blind bag jimmy johnson's ally car so that's two for that one. Which I like the sticker on this one though. Pretty neat. All right, next up. We have another Cobbush Zebra car. Which I really do like this car. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have lots of doubles here, guys. So, we're going to have to figure out what to do with these. The Target guy did let me keep the box, so that was pretty cool. Next, we have... Here we go. Oh, here we go. Finally, a different one. This is Chase Elliott's number nine Mountain Dew uh, Team Rubicon car. This is uh, what I believe he ran for the Clash at Daytona. This is a nice looking car with a sparkly paint. And you got the camo on there, Mountain Dew. Yeah, I like this car. Of course, here's a, here's a sticker for that one. Nice, so honestly we've had, haven't had a double yet in the Mystery packs. I guess that's probably all about to change. Since I opened my mouth. Alright, here we go. Survey says, oh no, Joe Legano. Number 22. Here's his sticker. Dig it. Sucker. So far, we've been lucky and not, I've got, I feel the sticker there, so we're going to cut this one just a little bit differently. All right, here we go. Here we go. Survey says, oh, oh, come on, where's the sticker? Uh, oh, there it is. I was too busy looking at the bag, not the camera. Uh, Ryan Blaney. Here's his sticker. I like his sticker a lot. Start another 
true. Yeah, when opening these, you kind of want to feel where that sticker is, if you want to keep the sticker. If you don't care about the stickers, then just cut through it, I guess. Here we go. Martin Truex. So, so far, we've been pretty lucky with these blind bags. We have not gotten a double yet. There's his sticker all crinkled to poo. All right, here we go. Oh, our first double, Ryan Blaney. These his stickers in better condition. So you can go there next to you, buddy. Now we're probably gonna start getting doubles. So let's see which ones we don't have yet. We don't have, we don't have Kevin Harvick's number four. We don't have Bubba Wallace, and we don't have William Byron. Let's see if we get lucky and see if we can complete the set. That would be awesome. My luck, it won't be though. All right, here we go. Another cobbler's zebra car. Boom. Boom. I'm also curious to know which one we're gonna have the most of. Another Jimmy Johnson ally car. I didn't show you his sticker earlier, there's that. They're kind of fun to open. You never know what you're gonna get. It's like Cracker Jacks. Oh, crap. Grab it on the floor. All right, well, I feel the sticker up there, so we're just drop that down there. All right, come on, something new. Oh, we oh, it is something new. We got uh, Brad's car. So I guess I, we, I was wrong. We haven't had Brad's, Brad's car yet. So, noise. Cool. Come on, something new. Oh, there we go. Right on. Got uh, Austin Dillon's number three. So there we go. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of 12. So which right now we're still missing Harvick, uh, Bubba, and Byron. So we're getting to the end of our bags here, people. So hopefully we can get lucky and get them all. Gotta catch them all like Pokemon. Oh, there we go, there's Bubba. Of course it's, oh no. His sticker stuck to the top of his car. Ah, what a dumpster fire! Anywho, here's his '43 aftershocks car. It's a nice looking car, but of course, I got the '43 on the top, and that's where the sticker stuck to it. So that was nice. That's unfortunate, but oh well. Well. Now we're only down to two more that we need. Survey says another Joey. Sticker. Where's the sticker? There we go. Yep, another Joey Lagana. Boom. I also picked up some 164s yesterday, and we'll be going over those next Monday. Excited to go over those, because I have not really been big into 164s, but figure Wave 2 or 3 or whatever the hell just came out, so we would start stocking up on them. And I'm only missing one now. There's uh, another Bubba car without the blemish on the top. Uh, come on. Harvick and Byron, we need you. Ah, uh, another Chase Elliott. Another Chase. It's an even messed up sticker than before. Oh, guys, this is not looking well for us. 
survey says. Another chase. We actually we have three chase elites now. Now these retail for two forty nine a piece, so they're not overly expensive. And then the double packs, uh, those are five ninety nine a piece. And you can find the double packs at Walmart, and you can find these blind bags at Target. Okay, got another Joey. Oh boy, guys, this isn't looking good. Really want that Harvick one. It's a Hunt Brothers car. All right, come on, come on, come on, Lady Luck, Lady Luck. Ah, there we go, William Byron. Right on, Exalta Flame car. Noise, noise right there by the camera all right so now all we need is Harvick and we have four opportunities left another Alex Bowman a sticker Three opportunities left. Also, this is these are from wave one, so you bet your butt when wave two comes out, we'll be buying another box. Another zebra cowbush. Two more guys. Still missing that Harvick. Oh, another Ryan Blaney. Where is the sticker? Well, guys, might as well call this cow cooked because I don't think this is going to be Harvick. Here we go, guys. Survey says, Brad Keselowski. Ding dang. Well, just when I thought I'd collect them all, we don't. So, we have two Alex Bowmans, two Jimmy Johnsons, two Bubba Wallaces, two Brad. Wait, where was I? Crap. Start over. Okay, three Ryan Blaney's, three Chase Elliott's, zero Harvick, one number three, two number twos, two number 88's, two number 48's, two 43's, 124, three 22's, 119, and 318. So, now, I have a dilemma, dilemma here. You can either go to eBay and buy the number four, or I have to go buy another box and open them all again. Who knows? We'll see. But let's bring these guys all into frame here. All right, guys. There is the overview of everybody. Okay, so here in the back from the two packs, five ninety nine at Walmart, only at Walmart for right now, and then two fifty a piece for the blind bags, only at Target. And uh, I found mine next to the one sixty fours. So there you have it, Double HD Nation. That was our unboxing, unbagging, showcasing, whatever the heck you want to call it, of the little NASCAR Authentics 187. Like I said, the blind bags can be found at Target for $250 a piece. So I spent roughly about uh, $62 on that box. 
And I'm, I'm not disappointed. It was, it was fun to unbox those with you guys. Also, the double packs, you can get those at Walmart for $5.99 a piece. Also, next Monday, we will be going over, I can't remember what wave it is, of the NASCAR 164s. Got some Darlington paint schemes in there, as well as Chicagoland from last year. <laughs> and I am missing one from that collection, so hopefully, hopefully between now and then, I will be able to find that other one. Also, may check out a couple other targets, see if they have some blind bags, may pick up a little bit more. I don't know, I have vacation coming up here in three weeks, so uh, I'm gonna try and get some videos filmed for that while I'm gone, that way I can just upload it when I'm not around. Also, I am starting a second YouTube channel here very shortly. Uh, it's gonna be all about hot wings. I love hot wings. <laughs> I love cooking them, I love experimenting with them. So hopefully you guys will check that out when that is up and running. Hopefully next week we'll be starting that. But anywho guys, if you're new here, Go ahead and subscribe. That way you can become part of the Double HD Nation. We put out videos every Monday and Wednesday, which Wednesday will probably be moving to Thursday because on my other, my, my new YouTube, that will be Wednesday for Wing Wing Wednesday. Yeah, punny. Huh. But anywho, like I said, if you're new here, stop what you're doing. Go subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you never miss a single update from myself. Um. If you enjoy this contact, go content, not contact. If you enjoy this content, give it a big thumbs up. That lets me and YouTube know you do enjoy it. Also, kind of gives me a little, a little bit of a push. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down and let me know why in the comments down below. I love talking with you guys. Some of you have some real, some real good knowledge on certain things that I do not. So, uh, if you're real generous, go ahead and share these videos. That gets me out there and continues to help my climb and subscribers uh right now we're at 171 so we have we're coming we're, we're coming along <laughs> but anyway guys i will see you guys on wednesday for some diecast news hopefully there's some because right now on the pages i've been looking at there hasn't been many so uh, we'll have some race wind diecast at least but other than that i don't know so guys I will see you guys all later. Take care. God bless. Bye.